Hello everyone. Please make sure to read the pin comment as well as the video description fully. The pin comment is basically going to be the instructions on how my trades work, and the video description is the information of my Pokemon such as how I edited my Pokemon as well as a list of Pokemon I cannot trade depending on their game. I highly suggest people read both of those fully because people tend to not read it and then ask me for Pokemon I can't trade. Another thing is custom Pokemon. I already have that in the video description that I don't do that. I'm not going to edit a Pokemon's nature, I'm not going to edit a Pokemon's EVs and IV spreads, I'm not going to edit the Pokemon's moves, held item, etc. Reason being is because my Pokemon are already competitive as is and people tend to ask me for illegal things onto the Pokemon, as well as um, editing a Pokemon requires me to get off of the game and to head onto the software to edit the Pokemon. Um, and by the time I would finish that, there'd be people waiting and lined up to get their Pokemon, and then somebody would go and snipe the Pokemon. So, I don't edit my Pokemon, alright? Uh, if you want something extremely specific, then you should learn how to gen. I have a video on my channel, you can just search up Mikasa Mods, how to gen Pokemon using a CFW 3DS. CFW stands for Custom Firmware. In that video, I have a link on how to homebrew your console so then you can start genning yourself. There's been plenty of people on my channel that I used to trade that have learned how to gen. So then they can make things their own way and then they can also help people who also want Pokemon. It's always nice to see um, some of my old supporters turning into geners themselves and then helping other people in need. It's just nice. Um, I don't really care, of course, about views likes or anything like that but as my views gradually go down that just basically means to me that there's less people that need my help i've already completed so many people's dexes and they come by to say thank you and then they leave um there's some people that say hey i turn into a jenner um i'm gonna start helping other people i'm not gonna you know comment on your videos ever again but i'm still gonna stay subscribed so you know it doesn't bother me it just shows me that soon pretty soon um i'm not gonna be needed anymore so then i'll probably just leave i don't know either i'll just you know not be on youtube anymore i'll just you know start wonder trading 24 7 and then i'll only you know nitpick help people here and there that ask for some help i won't probably upload videos anymore it just depends it all depends because remember this isn't something that was supposed to be permanently forever is a temp it is a temporal thing for people that needed help before um you know the newer games started fully coming out and then finally you can you know just take all your pokemon and just send it to the new games and then the 3ds one day just dissipates um the 3ds is still going to be alive for a few more years um people seem to get mistaken that because eShop is closing that the 3ds servers are shutting down no there's no um information about the server shutting down it only says eShop just because eShop closes doesn't mean the online services are closing because right underneath it it says pokemon bank will be free how are you going to use pokemon bank to send it to your games if there's no online functions you gotta you gotta really read guys <clears throat> but um yeah pretty soon uh me funky other friends that gen probably won't be around anymore once people don't need our help anymore um i don't really care helping people learn how to gen because that's more beneficial for them like i said i'm here to help people it's not here to have a monetized channel it's not here for anything more i'm just here to help people get their dexes full get the pokemon that they've always wanted and then that's it once i'm not needed anymore i'm just gonna probably leave but yeah that's just a um that's just letting you guys know what's possibly coming in the future. That one day I just won't be around anymore. I'll probably still have the channel up, but I just won't be posting as much. I'll just be wonder trading and helping people here and there. Because um, it seems like not a lot of people are, are around anymore. Um, like I said, I've already helped so many people complete their dexes, so there's no point in them sticking around. Um, for me with like the switch and stuff <sighs> trading on the switch is a lot harder than the 3ds because there's no plug-in for me to inject my pokemon back in my game and continuously trading 
back and forth, back and forth as easy. Like, it takes like 20 minutes to trade a whole rack of Pokemon and then having to get them all back and then trade it to other people that want it. It takes a long time. So maybe if I get a second Switch and then like homebrew it so that it can be custom firmware and gen Pokemon it, then I'll continue like on the newer games. But for now, the only game that I can technically gen on and trade continuously would be Sword and Shield. Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, sort of because of the exploits, you know, to clone the Pokemon in racks, it'd be a lot easier. But I think pretty much Sword and Shield is the only thing that I can do it easy. Because, of course, you can transfer Pokemon from the 3DS to Sword and Shield. And that's what makes it easier. But the new games, you can't do that as of yet and probably not ever. Um, but yeah, that's just some information for the near future, just in case. Um, thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day.